guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are going to go through my planner. Um, I've had some questions about my planner. Um, just keep in mind, everybody does it differently. This is just how I do mine. So we're gonna start at the beginning. First of all, I tend to keep my planner in a planner cover, especially if I'm gonna be leaving the house or taking it with me, but I won't be today, so we'll do that. I have the Happy Planner. That's the brand of planners that I buy. It's me and my big idea, Happy Planners. It is a disc bound system. So these are your discs. Um, this happens to be an expansion disc, so it's quite large. So it holds a fair amount of pages. What makes this unique in a disc bound is that pages, paper, anything you want, can pop out and go right back in. And I actually have the hole punch for it. So I can, like this, make my own. This is just cardstock and I punched it. So that's what makes this a little bit of a unique system is that you can take out and add pages which and move them around, which is what I like because I, I can't keep my mind straight. Now, if you remember this, this was sent to me from Sarah. Thank you. I love it. I'm incorporating it this year. I also have some herbal tea. This is Christmas blend. Mm. It's black tea with all kinds of warm spices. It's delicious. All right, let's get started. Oh, I'll move that over. So I did a, it's called a Franken planner. So I took a couple planners and put them together and a couple things. So in the front, I have this cute cover. These are just some extra sheets. And then I have my tracking. What am I tracking this year? This paper is called dot grid, if you've never done this before. So all the paper is is dots. And you connect them, and it makes it a little easier to draw and keep things lined up. So this will be for my PTO. When I know how many hours I'll have for the year, I'll put it up here and then as I use it, I subtract it. It's on my computer at work as well, but I need a visual representation sometimes and this is just, lets me see what I've done this year. So I have that. Um, because I'm at that age, I'm tracking my cycle for the next couple years until it stops. So that's my cycle tracker. I just write down when things happen. Uh, YouTube revenue. I track that for tax purposes. This year I'm tracking my weight. Now I don't weigh every single day, but I don't know what day of the week I plan on weighing in. Depends each week. So as I weigh in, I write it in here and it just keeps me on track and motivated with my weight loss journey because that's important to me. You can track whatever you want, how much water you drink, how much coffee you drink, how much you don't drink. You can track anything. Um, this is my books goal for this year. I'm gonna, I want to read 24 books. And here I will make the list of the books that I have read this year. And then I'll color these in as I read them. Um, I have a cash saving goal, which is different than my savings goal for um, like my bank account and stuff. This is all cash on hand. And so what it is this year for me, I'm gonna take out a certain amount of money for two weeks for groceries. Cause that's really the only thing. Gas, I put on a car on my out of my bank account. So I'll a lot for all that, but cash is what I wanna spend for groceries. I need to start small. So I will take out cash each for each two week period. So like, let's say I take out $100. I'm not sure what it will be yet, but let's say for two weeks groceries, I have $100. Whatever I don't spend of that is cash and it will go in this envelope at the end of the two weeks. And each one of these squares is $5 and I get to color them in. I've already started this year with some money, so I put it in here. Also, if I sell anything on Facebook Marketplace or I make any side hustle cash, it gets marked down to here. And this is just strictly a cash savings for some grand thing at the end of the year. Who knows what it will be. But I just want to track how much cash. So far, that's my tracking. And this is my bills. So I wrote out what my bills are, how much they are, if it's a set amount, what day of the month it's due, and how is it paid. Bill pay, ACH, all of that. 
And then my credit cards are separate because I'm trying to pay those off. That's a goal for this year. I haven't done that tracker yet. And then I just have some extra pages. And then the rest of that notebook is right here and I will use it for the rest of the year. And I'll keep these pages separate. And as I need them, I'll grab them. So I'll probably put these back on the bind on the rings and store them separately. So that is all of my tracking. Now we're getting into my actual planner. This is the planner I bought last summer. It's an 18 month happy planner. And I, I really enjoy it. So I've already pulled out all the previous months. This is a grid. So if I want to do a quick create a sheet, this just tells me how many squares on this paper to make half quarter, just a guide. And then we'll go into January. So this is my month at a glance page. I hope I'm centered here. Month at a glance. Um, this is key to my life right here. Month at a glance. I don't do a lot of decorating in my planner. And I think that's why I always feel weird about sharing it because I don't, I don't do it. I don't decorate like a lot of people do. But for me, I need to track my part-time job. I need to track paydays, um, YouTube payday. I have a dentist appointment. I mean, I just put my life on this page right here. So anytime I have anything coming up, it goes in here. And then like here in March, I have a new book coming out. I typically just throw a post-it note in there. And then when I get to that month, I will fill this in because things change. So if I have future stuff that's real far out, like this, I left my note a year ago to call AT&T because my cable bill is gonna go up in May. So I need to call them in April and figure out what my new plan is. So I leave myself like little breadcrumb notes in the future. Here I have a book coming out. So anytime something comes up this far out, I usually just stick it on a post-it note and put it in advance and then I will do a month at a time. So I've decorated this, I have things in here. I typically like to write in erasable pens uh, because things change. Like here, I was supposed to work, but I chose not to at my part-time job. So I'm just gonna write cancel. But had I put it in erasable ink, I could have erased it. Then we go to my, this is my, what we would call a weekly spread. And this is a vertical spread. So you have each day of the week starts on a Monday. Your weekend days are together. I really enjoy that because this is my work week. And then this is my weekend. Now this is split up. Each day is in three separate blocks on this type of a calendar. I utilize this block for work. So this whole first row is always for work stuff. This is for personal life if I'm working at my part-time job or I have an errand to run or if I have a doctor's appointment. That all goes on this middle one. And then this top one is all YouTube related for my life. So what I do, we're going to do this week, is I pull these two pages out. It's hard to write around that. I move this out of my way and... This is the week I'm working on, right here. January 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. So the first thing I tend to do is I'll go through and write down from the main calendar and my work calendar on my computer what I've got going on this week. So I have all that written down. Then I decide what I want my spread to look like. So I have some washi tape here. I have this really cute sticker. Sarah got me a bunch of stickers for Christmas for my planner. And this is 100% going somewhere in this planner. Probably over here because I don't, I don't typically do a lot of um, uploads on a Sunday. And that's just a day that I like to, unless, you know, I have a lot to share. That's kind of a day I like to just not have to worry about my one day typically that I don't do anything except for like housework and stuff. So we're gonna put my library cat right there. Now a lot of these supplies have been collected. Like this is my paper clip that m marks where I'm at in my planner. I collect this stuff anywhere and everywhere. So I know 
that I want to put some little piece over here. And, and like I said, I don't decorate a lot because I need the room to write. So, but I like that this says Happy New Year. Now, some people um, cut their washi. I kind of like mine a little ripped. And I know I don't have a lot going on right now, personally, and I have the room. So I just put that here. This is just thin. I think I ordered this on Amazon, this washi tape. Um, the one thing is, use it. If you sit on it too long, it tends to lose its stick. And I know you can, there's things you can do, but I prefer not to worry about it. And then I just, and then I use my fingernail. Washi tape is so fun because it literally just rips where you want it. So I like that. And then let's do some over here. And this, this really is most of what I will decorate as far as um, my pages go. I don't typically do a lot. But if you don't have a lot going on, decorate it. Do what you want. Do what makes you happy. But I wanted this first week to represent the new year. So I put you over here. Oops. Go, little rock star. Um, I need a little exacto or something. But here, we just rip that there. And now... That's kind of it for the decorating. Here, I'll put a little piece of this. You do you, though. You put what you want. But like I said, I need room. So we'll just... But you can go to town. And there's so many YouTubers out there that decorate their planners up. Okay. Okay. So I have that. Now, if I go back to my January, I get paid on the 7th. So I have I have so many stickers, guys. I'll just bring out a couple books. These are these are Happy Planner stickers. This is Park Lane. I got at Joanne and this is Paper Studios. I got at Hobby Lobby. But I have a million books. I'm just grabbing a few. So, I know that this is payday on the 7th. So let's just take a fun sticker. We're doing kind of a gold theme here. So the 7th is a work payday for me. So I put that in there. And I also know on that day, I'm going to pay my bills. Whatever bills are due that day. So I'll put... This right here. Just a reminder, it's bill pay time. Now, there's also all kinds of stickers in here that tell me if I'm going on vacation or I have a road trip, I have a doctor's appointment, my bills are due, I need coffee. That's always should be in there. We're cooking out. These are like householdy. Um, I do enjoy, oh, these are just like note boxes that I can cut and put in. Um, but I do like my to-do. But I think, oops, I might have oops, a to-do over here. So let's see. And then these are just, they're all just different stickers. You can handwrite in here too. Let me see. Somewhere around here. Oh, here we go. Now, in this planner, over here is my to-do list. Typically, it's for work. My personal to-do list is in a separate notebook. But that's typically my work. You know, what I need to get done during the day. 
But again, I just flip through. I find fun stickers, motivational things. I have all my stickers from Sarah in here. Thank you again. Like I'll do a, a gnome one. These are from the Dollar Tree and these are super fun. If you see these at the Dollar Tree, well worth a dollar. And they're just more to do, reminders, motivational stickers. I like these over the weekends, but I mean, I can put this one here. We can do, yay, it's the weekend with my lazy cat. So if it's a weekendy type sticker, I would come up here and go, yay, it's the weekend. Okay, so that's pretty much the stickers I would utilize for this page for the most part. Then, so I have all that done. I also recommend a tape roller if you wanna like stick things down that's, that are not already adhesive. Over here I have highlighters and planner, uh, different, these are mild liners. I'm trying to see if my gold one is over here, which it is not, but we're gonna write in gold. So I think I'll write in that color and I'm gonna use this blue to tie in my cap. This is how I mark it up for my personal use. All right, so I know Wednesday at 10.30, I have a work meeting. So I do this. I put in here what time the meeting is. This happens to be a returning, a reoccurring meeting, so it's not as important that I can see. And then I just write phone meeting because I know that's what it is. It's a phone meeting. And that's pretty much it for Wednesday. Now on Thursday, I have a meeting at 10, a meeting at 1. So 10 and one. And my computer also pops up um, to tell me that I have a meeting and I have an interview to attend. So that's my work meetings for the day. Now I'm working at my part-time job and it's women's basketball. I need to be there at 5.30. It is dress uniform and I'm parking in gray five. And that's just for me to know, this is all the information that I need. And then the last thing this week is my payday. So I don't have a lot going on yet. This will get filled in as the week progresses because I will set up meetings, I will have reminders, I will have things. But for now, the week hasn't begun. Personal life, I don't have a lot going on work-wise, but I know there are things I wanna get done next week. Like I want to put Christmas away. So I'm just gonna put in here, put away Christmas. And then I know on Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure when, I'm going to Sarah's house. Depends on when her mom comes down. I don't have my week set up yet for YouTube, but I do like to write YouTube in a different color. So for my YouTube, Monday, I will put up my planner video, this video. Tuesday is the Dollar Tree. And Wednesday, I would like to put up a DIY. So that I know for next week is my goals and my agenda. And that's it, that's how I work it. This lays out on my desk. And as things come and change, I act accordingly and I put things in here that I want to do or whatever. But it's a week out, it's the first of the year, things are a little slow right now. But that's how my planner looks 
for this portion. We need a coffee sticker. I feel like we're missing something important here, guys. And it needs to be gold. And sometimes if I don't have a lot or I put things like little stickers in between, they make me happy to look at. So that's how my layout would look for the week of January 3rd. You can also get these planners undated. That's an option as well. Now, I'm trying something new this year. Typically, I would make my own budget sheet. And I made one. But I was at the store today and I purchased from the Happy Planner. And you always wanna make sure you know what size. I have a classic, this is a classic size planner. They have a big, which is larger, and a small, which is smaller, or mini. This is the budget planner. Ex they're called an expansion pack. So it doesn't, it's not its own planner and it comes with all of this stuff. I will do, and this is kind of the other reason I call this a Franken planner, because I'm piecing it apart. So in that budget expansion pack, it comes like that. You have the budget planner here with nothing on the back. It's just a divider. I don't need that because I'm not setting up a specific budget planner. Then on page one is your savings goals, and I really like this. So it says for each month, I would like to save X amount of dollars. And if I reach that goal, you write it down or color it in or whatever. So that'll go in January, and this goal will move with me each month. This will be for the year. Oh, and the reason I bought two of these, they only come with six months at a time and some fun stickers and a folder. So this folder can hold receipts or whatnot, but it also snaps in. I'm not sure if I'll use that or not, we'll see. But I have to come up with a goal for each month that I wanna try to save in my savings account. And then on the back side, it has your month at a glance. Now this month at a glance is for the first month and I don't know that I need it there because I will show you. Then when you open it up, this is undated. This is what's considered an undated calendar. And this I can make whatever month I want and fill it out. But I don't want to use that because I have a calendar and I'm not using this as a calendar. So the first page I do want is my bill checklist and I feel like this is enough lines for my monthly bills. If not, I could bring this over and I would probably tape this to that goal sheet. But I don't feel like I need that page. I think this is plenty. And what I would do is put my month up here, what bill it is, when it's due, the amount, and that it was paid. And for me, I will break it up by paycheck. Paycheck one, paycheck two. So we have that. And then on the back, we have expense trackers. Now, this does come with a lot of expense tracking sheets, and I don't feel like I'm going to need that many because I don't have that many expenses. But it gives you plenty if you do. So what I think I will do is just utilize one, and this will be for, for what I'm going to consider expenses would be my $100 or whatever I take out for cash for groceries. Then I will put gasoline, um, personal items. Do I need toiletries, household cleaning product? Do I need to call the plumber? Whatever. That's an ex those are expenses. These are bills. So these bills I have every single month. These are variable expenses that I will utilize. So that will go in there. And then there's a budget review on the last page. And it says, you know, where did I have the most trouble? Probably coffee. What could I improve this month? Less coffee. What goals can I set for next month? Make more money for coffee. I, you know, whatever. And then on the back is the month at a glance. And so each, so I would go in at the end of each month and put, you know, this is a budget, basically. What is my projected mortgage, phone, electric, gas, water, sewage, cable maintenance? And then what did I really spend? 
auto, public transportation, fuel. So that's where I would put like gasoline for my car. Uh, fuel and gas, that's weird that it's separate. Insurance, food, children, you know, do I have kids? No, but I could change that and put pets. Um, personal care, entertainment, loans, savings, and then miscellaneous, which for me would really be my pets. And this is where I could set up my monthly budget. And then it repeats six times in each of these extension packs. So I really am, sa I will save all these extra sheets that I'm not utilizing. And probably I will decorate that page because, um, I won't utilize that. This is January for me. And that's my um, month at a glance for the month of January. But I'm, they probably have it set up because at the end of January, that would be my month at a glance for, well, they have one at the end of there too. I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking, but this is how I'm going to set up my budget this year. So I did buy two packs of these. They were $10.99 a piece at Joanne, no discount, and they're not on sale. So I spent $20 for the two months pack, which is perfectly fine with me because I, I've already had my planner, so I didn't buy this planner. So each, the beginning of each month, like today, I'll sit down and fill all this in, and then I will be ready for my first paycheck because I'm not spending at this point, I'm done. I have all the things that I need. But this was a budgeted expense. And then you can write any of your January notes in here. What you want to focus on. Do I have any birthdays to remember? And then each week, the beginning of each week, so Friday or over the weekend, I'll go in and I will do the same thing for the next. And I like these. These came with the budget because if you look at this page here, it has all of your months in cursive or in print, but it also has pay, you know, pay stickers and all of that. And there used to be in here numbers, but they didn't put it in this one. The miniature one that I got, they had a bunch of these and they were circles and they were all numbers for the months, but they changed it up, which is perfectly fine. But this has just some more budget stickers. Buy less and choose well. Yeah, I'm going to work on that. So I put that in there and that's it, guys. I hope that was helpful for you. I will go back to doing my budgeting um, starting in January. I kind of fell off the wayside, but I really want to get back on the budget front because I need to pay off. I mean, I didn't run up much debt over the holidays. Actually, I Christmas was all cash, but I need to um, I need to focus on paying off some two credit cards this year and start saving. Also, um, and I can talk about it later, but I use Fetch Rewards, which is an app, and I also use Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A. Both of my links are below. What I'm doing in there is as I save up or as I scan my receipts or I get rewards from Ibotta, I go in and every time I get like $20, $25, I'm buying Amazon gift cards and I'm loading them to my Amazon account, but I'm not using them until I start Christmas shopping, which for me is typically around July or August. I'll start thinking about buying, you know, getting Christmas gifts and I do a fair amount of shopping on Amazon. So this year, my goal is to utilize the Ibotta app which what you do there, you know, I can go over both apps with you on a separate video, but Ibotta and Fetch. And um, if you click my link below, I think you get free money, I get free money, but you can trade those in the points in for gift cards. And I'm gonna utilize, like I said, those gift cards. I'll start with Amazon and then maybe I'll move over and get an Ulta or whatever, whatever the thought is that I have for Christmas gifts this year. But that's how I'm going to get earn some free gifts is by using those apps. And it's just literally scanning, scanning your receipt. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, that is everything. I think I showed you all my pens. I have, um, these are friction. Sarah got me a set. It came with some of the highlighters that erase. It came with some pens. It came with some fine liners and it came with some colored pens, 
I also use a lot of the Zebra products. I love these mild liners. Um, you can write and color and outline with them. I got a huge set of those. And then for my gel pens, I use these Tool, T-U-L. Got them on Amazon, but the brand is actually the, um, if you have an Office Depot, this is their house brand. But these are a fantastic gel marker for planners. I like the thicker and then I got some from the Dollar Tree. Oh, and I also got some, this is also Zebra, the Sarosa, Sarasa, and these are fine liners. I just like to write in color. And then these are friction erasable. So if I write something or I make a mistake, I can erase it. And this will definitely be, these pens will be used in my budgeting for the month. So I hope that was helpful. And you have a fantastic day. If you have any questions, please post them below. Or if you want me to go over something more in detail, let me know and I can make a separate video. All right, everybody, have a good one.